25 NBA facts you never thought of. Toronto's first basketball team was in the Raptors. The Raptors and the Vancouver Grizzlies were in the first NBA teams from Canada. It was actually Toronto Huskies, one of the first teams in the league. Because Canada proved to be a tough basketball market, the team lasted just one season with a record of 22-38 during the regular season. Number 24, Muggsy Bucks was the first round pick. Only 5-3, Muggsy Bucks is the smallest player to ever play in the NBA. During his four years at Wake Forest, he averaged only 8.3 points and 6.6 assists. Still, the Washington Bullets decided to select Bucks with the 12th overall pick in the 1987 draft. Eventually, Bucks played 14 years in the NBA career known as a good defensive player and a good passer. Averaging 10 plus points only three times, he still became something of a folk hero with his height and to this day has many fans. Number 23, Chris Webber never played one game for the team that drafted him. Known as a member of the Fab Five when playing at University of Michigan, Webber averaged 17.4 points and 10 rebounds per game during his two years with the Wolverines. And so, the Orlando Magic selected Webber as the first overall pick in the 1993 NBA draft. With that said, the Magic immediately traded Webber to the Golden State Warriors for Penny Hardaway. Number 22. Ray Allen's real first name is Walter. Yeah, it's Walter, not Ray, and now you know too. Number 21. Paul Gasol went to medical school. I am shocked as you are. Can you imagine him a doctor? Number 20. The three-point shot originated in the ABA. The three-point shot wasn't always in the NBA. It started in the ABA, which was known for more flashy play and showmanship. The NBA didn't adopt this new rule until the 1978-1980 season. Number 19. Vince Carter could have been a musician. Apparently, Vince Carter was a drum major in high school, so I guess if Gasol could have been a doctor, Carter could have been a musician. Number 18. John Stockton doesn't hold the record for most assists in a game. When thinking assists, the mind goes straight to John Stockton, but most assists in a game were dished by Scott Skiles, who placed 30 assists against the Denver Nuggets on December 30, 1990. Number 17. Kobe Bryant wasn't a top 10 pick. One of the greatest players to ever play the game was not in the top 10 pick. Bryant was selected by the Charlotte Hornets with the 13th overall pick, but was immediately traded to the Los Angeles Lakers in exchange for center Vladi Divac. Number 16. Elvin Hayes never won an MVP award. Hayes played in 12 consecutive All-Star games won the championship and averaged 20 points per game or more in 10 of his 16 NBA seasons. And yet, never won an MVP award. Number 15. The Celtics won a title in the 80s without Bird or Parrish as finals MVP. The MVP award for the 1981 finals went to forward Cedric Maxwell. During games 3, 4 and 5, Maxwell scored 71 points and was a great contributor outside of Boston's Big Three, Larry Bird, Kevin McHale, and Robert Parrish. Number 14. Isaiah Thomas scored 16 points in 94 seconds and still lost. Detroit Pistons were facing the New York Knicks in the deciding fifth game of the first round of the 1984 playoffs. Thomas scored 16 points in 94 seconds to send the game into overtime. Unfortunately for him and the Pistons, the Knicks won the game. Number 13. Mark Price has the best career free throw percentage. Former Cleveland Cavaliers guard Mark Price finished his career shooting 90.4% from the free throw line. Pretty impressive. Number 12. Miami Heat are the only team to win both the dunk contest and shootout. At the 1995 All-Star Weekend, 
guard Harold Miner won his second slam dunk contest trophy, while teammate Glenn Rice won the three point shootout. Number 11. Nikembe Mutombo was an All Star rookie without winning Rookie of the Year. Mutombo made the All Star team as a rookie for the Denver Nuggets but lost Rookie of the Year to Charlotte Hornets forward Larry Johnson. Number 10. The Phoenix Suns had 10 game winning and losing streaks in one season. During the 1996 1997 season, the Suns lost 13 games to open the season. They then acquired Jason Kidd from the Dallas Mavericks, and when he returned from his injury, he led the team on a magical run to the playoffs that saw a 10 game winning streak. Number 9. Sean Kemp's middle initial means nothing. Just how the S in Harry has Truman is just an initial, such is the case for Mr. Sean T. Kemp. Number 8. The Celtics and Knicks are the only teams to have never moved. Every other original team has moved or folded since the league's inception. Number 7. John Stockton getting zero MVP votes during an outstanding season. During the 1990-1991 season, John Stockton averaged 17.2 points per game, 14.2 assists per game, and 2.9 steals per game, playing in all 82 games, yet receiving zero MVP votes. He had near identical stats the prior season too. He would also still be the all-time assist leader even if he hadn't played in his final five seasons. Number 6. Sam Cassell was not on the Rockets starting five because he had to use the bathroom. I know how it sounds, but the truth is that Sam Cassell missed the starting five with the Rockets because he had to piss just before tip-off. Twice. Number 5. Marvin Barnes snorted cocaine on the bench during games. Marvin Barnes snorted cocaine on the bench during games. He even returned to play in the same game in which he dislocated a kneecap. Number 4. Kobe Bryant has most misses in NBA history. Despite being one of the best players to ever play in the NBA, Kobe Bryant has most misses than any other player in the league's history. In his 20 year career, Bryant missed 14,481 shots in the regular season. John Havlicek is ranked second on this list, missing 13,417 shots in his career. Number 3. Richard Hamilton got the name RIP from RIP diapers. I don't know who thought about it, but it's true. At least he got the nickname when he was an NBA pro and not when he was a kid. That would have been much unfortunate. Number 2. Shaquille O'Neal made only one free point shot ever. Shaq has made over 11,196 buckets, but only one of them was a free pointer. It was in February 16, 1996, when the Orlando Magic were playing against the Milwaukee Bucks. The Magic inbounded the ball with only two seconds left. Shaq got the ball from way beyond the top of the arc and scored maybe one of the ugliest shots you have ever seen. Shaq has attempted 22 three-point attempts, but has only made one of them during his career. Number 1. 60% of players are broke after 5 years of retirement. It may be difficult to comprehend that millionaires can become broke so quickly, but it happens more often than you would think. 60% of NBA players are broke after 5 years in retirement, but with big houses, expensive cars, spending and poor financial management, it is easy to understand how the money can disappear so quickly. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed our video, please like it, subscribe to our channel, and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Stay tuned for more entertaining videos and trivia facts you probably never thought of here on Sportastic Channel. Have a great day.